I want you to give him a big rousing welcome because he will be here. He actually is coming. He's backstage. He's going to be out here. What's going on, Elvis? I'm sorry, Steve. I can't do it, man. I can't go on. What? Well, this whole thing was just a bad idea. I haven't played in front of a live audience in more than seven years, man. I don't know if I can do it anymore. And what if they don't like me? Don't like you? Oh, my God. Elvis, you created rock and roll. You were the king. You step out there, you're gonna be king again. It's just like riding a bike, Elvis. Once you get on stage, it's gonna be like old times. is all I'm asking. Two weeks. Come on. Hey, Elvis. Give us a break. Don't be late for school, baby. Baby, one, one and one, one is two. Two, two and two, two is four. four. I love that woman, man, but I got to let her go. Oh, baby, don't you look nice. Only thing that would make me happier is if I had the two of you. I know. I love you. He's gonna find us a dollar a day till we pay rent. A dollar a day? Lord, how are we ever gonna get out from under that? Where'd you get the money for that get up? I'm on Lansky's. I'll put 50 cents down. I gotta pay 25 cents a week. Bernard, don't you give him a hard time. If he's got the money for clothes and records, maybe he can help yeah, us out go. with rent. Go to school, baby. Bye, Mama. Bye, Daddy. Yeah. Don't fight now, you hear? Someday I'm going to buy your house in Cadillacs. Bye. George Klein. Senior class of Nice guitar. Thanks a lot, Jim. Hey, Dottie. Hey, Presley. How you doing? OK, George. Nice outfit. Thanks. George Klein for president. How's school today, Elvis? Fine. They don't cotton too much to me, Darren. Well, I don't doubt it. Those clothes you wear and that hair? Don't you start in. That's his style. Everyone's got to have a style. You used to have a style, Vernon. Woo, your daddy was a looker, Elvis. You were right about that. Still is when he sets his mind to it. Boy, could he dance. Play something on your guitar. Maybe your daddy will dance with me. No, 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 no. I'm not dancing. I'm eating. Is there any more? No. That's all they'd give us down at the pantry. You eat any more tonight, and there won't be enough for the whole week. No, I'm really not hungry. Put that bag down, Vernon. I'm done, Mama. Really. I'm not hungry. I'm going out with Gene and Junior. Mama? It's all right. Night, Grandma. Tell your cousins I expect to see him in church next Sunday. I know their mama didn't raise a bunch of atheists. Okay, Grandma. I'll be there, too. I know, honey. Good night, Mama. Daddy. Good night, baby. What? Hey, man, look at them outfits. What about them? The one with the pink trim? <laughs> That's slick. Yeah, but you ain't right, man. Come on. Morning, 
boy that went on the Harris can sing. <laughs> hey, cuz, how do you know all these guys? I listen to them on the radio. Highland Wolf, Arthur Cruda, Baby King. Hey. WDIA, Mother Station <laughs> of the Negro. Broadcasting all Memphis and beyond. Well, you're not right. You know that? Big party all the time. If I was a Negro, I think I'd hang myself. Why don't you think the call of the blues? That's what I'm saying right there. Everyone's got someone's foot on their neck. No one's foot's on my neck. No? <laughs> Didn't our daddy's work shares for old man Bean? Well, they share crop with grandpa. Wanna ask him who his daddy work feels for? There ain't as much difference as you think. We all end up working shares for the guy in the big house. One day? I'm gonna be the man in the big house. Hope you do. I'm sorry, sorry, Dixie. Sorry. Cross the line. I know, I know. Nothing six inches above the knee and nothing below the belly button. I know. And no chest. I got it. Not till we're married, anyway. I got it, I got it. Sorry. I was thinking about making a record. How? Down at Sun Records. They do it for you. I was thinking about it for Mom's birthday. Her birthday was last April. Well? You just want to make a record. So? And then a lot of people could hear it and maybe, you know, uh, I don't know. Next thing you know, you'll be on the radio like Bill Monroe. <laughs> now, sit on your hands. All Come right. on, put them under your keister. Help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I want to record something uh, for my mom's birthday. You do that, right? Yes, we do. It's three ninety eight for a two sided acetate. I know. You can also make one in the booth over at W T Grants for a quarter. Oh no, ma'am. I heard them kind. They don't sound professional. Ma'am, this is where they make all those R&B records, right? Rufus Thomas, The Prisoners? That's us. Oh, ma'am, I like those records a whole lot. Uh, I was wondering, ma'am, if, uh, if anyone needed a singer or something. Oh, what kind of singer are you? Uh, I sing all kinds. You sing hillbilly? I sing hillbilly. Country? I sing country. OK, uh, who do you sound like? Well. I don't sound like nobody, ma'am. Go on into the middle of the room. Yes, ma'am. Is that Mr. Phillips? That's him. Now sing a few bars so he can set the levels. Yes, ma'am. Evening shadows make me blue. And don't be shy, son. Now bring your head up and lean in close to that mic. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Is Mr. Phillips going to come out? I don't expect so. Oh. I was kind of hoping to say goodbye. Here it is. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Marion. Marion Keesker. Elvis. Elvis Presley. Uh, ma'am, I was wondering if, uh, if I could drop by from time to time, see if anyone needed a singer. Sure. But we'll call you if anything comes up. Maybe the right song will come in. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, 
Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Always thinking. Well. God spared you for a reason, baby. Years it seems have gone by since we shared our dreams. But I hold you again. There'll be no blue memories in. Where the skies are gray or blue. Any place on earth will do Just as long as I'm with you My happiness A million We got 20 minutes before Mama realizes we're gone. Hurry up, I want to hear these guys. I'm hurrying. Hey, I ran into a friend of mine who's in this professional band with Eddie Bond, and they're looking for a singer. I got a tryout on Saturday night. Elvis, that's wonderful. It's at the Hi Hat on South Third. The Hi Hat? Isn't that a nightclub? Yeah, but come with me, Dixie. I'll ask Gene to come, too. I need you. Oh, hurry up, I love these guys. Singer, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> What's your day job? Uh, I drive a truck for Crown Electric. Hmm. Well, let's see what you can do. Yes, sir. If you find your sweetheart in the heart. Of a friend, but when your heart is begin, why that boy is green as a tomato worm. He's nervous. Ha, nervous. He's about ready to have a heart attack. <laughs> he better stick to driving trucks, darling, because he ain't ever gonna make it as a singer. When I yeah, we had people look down on us our whole lives. It ain't nothing new. We don't pay it no never mind, because we got family. You got a mama who loves you, your daddy, Dixie, too. I thought Elvis was good. I don't know a guitar player worth a hell of beans anyhow. Maybe now you put that damn thing away. Start thinking about learning a trade, settling down. Yes, sir. Those folks down at Crown Electric, they like you well enough. Mm -hmm. The high is an electrician. Electricians earn good money, too, you get in the union. But you gotta work at it. Elvis won't have no trouble with it. He's a smart boy. He can do anything he sets his mind to. But mind you, honey, you can't be daydreaming all the time. So you're gonna wire something up wrong and burn down somebody's house. Dixie, when are you going to Florida? Day after tomorrow. Now, what are you two lovebirds gonna do without each other for three weeks? Oh, we'll visit each other in our dreams. Oh, please. Not in front of my mama. Yoo-hoo. Sorry to interrupt. That's all right, Miss Hughes. Come on in. Elvis has a phone call. It's some woman. She said her name is Marion Kiesker. Thank you, Mrs. Hughes. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. I could do it again. When they first sent me that song, I thought maybe, maybe you'd be right for it. But sometimes a song and a singer don't necessarily go together. Maybe another time. I, I know a lot of songs, sir. A gospel, hillbilly, pop. Well, what the hell, we're already here. Let me hear a few. You all right with this, Scotty? Yes, sir. Bill? Yeah. Thanks, guys. 
sounded something like Bing Crosby. And the trouble is, we already got us a Bing Crosby. And the one before, well, we got us a Eddie Arnold and a Hank Snow. Son, give me, hmm, give me some, give me some of you. Give me some of you. Give me some Elvis Presley. Easy, Sam. Yeah, Phillips the cat can say. Yeah, and you can play. But all I'm getting right now is some secondhand Chet Atkins. Uh, let's take a break. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Phillips. I, I don't mean to waste your time. That's all right, Elvis. That's all right. You should get yourself a soda pop. Yeah. With Sam, it's always all right. It's not good enough. That's all right, mama, any way you do, but that's all right, baby, that's all right. That's all right now, mama, any way you do. Yeah. Well, mama, she done told me, papa done told me too, that girl that you've been messing with, she ain't no good for you, but that's all right. That's all right. Oh, yeah. That's all right now, Mama, any way you do. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 what, what the hell was that? Uh, I don't know, sir. I'm uh, just messing around. You been holding out on me, boy. What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Arthur, big boy, crud up for God's sakes. You know more of that music? <laughs> well, yes, sir. Well, lots of it. Damn, what the hell you been wasting my time for? Come on, let's back it up. Try to find a place to start and do it again. What exactly does he want? I guess he wants you to do what you just did. That? I tell you what, why don't you just start playing? You start it and you maybe wait two beats. Okay. Come in on that first one, fifth you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Well, a little bit faster. <laughs> Sounds awfully rough, Sam. That's all right for you. Yeah. That's all yeah. Right for mama. But it's different. Oh, it's something else. That there song is a hit. Right <laughs> a hit. Mm. I think old Scotty's right. I think they hear this is gonna run us out of town. Get the cotton out of your mouth. Put it in your ears, boy. Dixie is gonna kick herself for missing this. You sure that's him? You heard the man? Well, that don't sound like him. You just miss it? I can't believe that boy's sitting in the movie theater right now. What's wrong with him? Just shy, that's all. That boy. Shush, shush. Shush up. I mean, do you just ride around or do you go on some sort of a picnic or something? A picnic? Man, you are too square. I'm, I have to straighten you out. Now listen, you don't go any one special place. That's cornball style. You just go. Elvis, Elvis, baby. Elvis, 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 You. Ain't uh, nothing like it exists on this earth. Uh, oh, you knew. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Bill? Well, I know this. We ain't got a record unless we have a B-shot. Now, we gotta come up with something fast. Well, let's get to it while the day's still young. Hey, Elvis, grab my guitar. I'll right. play that again. Maybe we don't have another one in us, you know? Maybe it's just a fluke. Like you said, never existed before. Yeah, well, it exists now. And I know, I know he has it in him. How about Blue Moon? 
I've always wanted to do that one. No, 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 no. I don't want any of that slow crap. I want some of that fast and biting crap. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, how about a fast biting waltz? How about Blue Moon of Kentucky? What'd you do? Blue Moon of Kentucky, won't you keep on shining? Blue Moon, shine blue Moon, blue Moon, blue Moon, blue Moon, blue Moon, blue Moon, just shining bright. How about it like this? Blue Moon of Kentucky, won't you keep on shining? Shine on the one that's gonna let me blue. Blue moon, moon, I can tell you, won't you keep on shining? Shine on the one that's gonna let me blue. Well, it was on a moonlit night. Star Sam, 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 no, this is terrible. We're just goofing around. <laughs> no, you know? that's what I'm talking about. It's gotta be fun, original. Bill Monroe is gonna kill us. Bill Monroe is gonna be too busy counting his money. Marion! Never been on the before. Oh, yeah. Honey, I'm over here. Hey. Oh, man, Mr. Phillips, my knee's shaking. I can't stop it. I don't do well in public. Well, they're going to love you, Elvis. Well, these folks came here to see Slim Whitman. This is a hillbilly crowd, and I'm not singing hillbilly. Elvis, that is called an understatement. <sighs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, folks, we have a young man with a record that's gotten quite popular here in Memphis, and here he is to sing his latest recording, Ellis Presley. Ellis, go get him, Ellis. Blue moon, blue moon, blue moon, keep shining bright. Blue moon, keep on shining bright. She gonna bring the back of my baby tonight. Blue moon, keep shining bright. I say blue moon, I can talk to you, keep on shining. Shine on the one that's cold and lovely blue. I say blue moon, I can talk to you, keep on shining. Shine on the ball that's gone and let me blue. Oh, well, the heat was on one moonlight night. Stars shining bright. We just put on high lights and goodbye. Blue moon, I've got to keep on shining. Shine on the ball that's gone and let me blue. Try to have a little more fun. this for a while. Whatever makes him happy. What was they hollering at? They scream every time you shake your leg. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Slim Whitman, how's he gonna follow that? How's he gonna follow that? Who is that up there, son? Who the hell was that? I don't really know, sir, but I like him. Yeah? Well, you're gonna like this, too. Billboard magazine has us number three on the Memphis charts. And, and I placed a phone call to a friend of mine at the Grand Old Opry. Are you wearing makeup, son? Mascara? Uh, helps people see me better on stage. Oh, actors use it all the time on stage. Screw and... that, screw that. What about the opera? We are on. <laughs> and, and, and then we are going down to Shreveport and the Louisiana Hayride. We are riding in high, high cotton now, boys. <laughs> well, I heard you knew that's good to rock it tonight. Well, I heard you knew that's good to rock it tonight. I'm gonna hold my baby as tight as I can. Tonight she will know I'm a mighty, mighty man. I heard the news. There's good to rock it tonight. I say, oh, meet me in a hurry behind the bar. Don't you be afraid that I'll do you no harm. I want you to bring along my rocking shoes. Cause tonight I'm going to rock the way home. The blues. I heard the news. There's good to rock it tonight.
So settle down, all right? He, he's left the building, okay? Elvis has left the building. Well, we're touring with Hank Snow and Ernest Tubb. He's so nice, Mama. And the Leuven brothers, the Carter sisters, and Mother Maybell. Oh, you should see cute Lanita. You behaving yourself? Yes, Mama. No drinking or running around. You don't want to go to hell. I'm being a good boy, Mama. And Gladys, let the boy grow up, for God's sake. I'm just worried, it's all. All that driving. Every time I hear on the radio about some accident, I just pray to God it wasn't you. I've been having nightmares, Elvis. It's raining out, and you and your brother Jesse, you just lying on the side of the road. You're bleeding and everything. Oh, Mama, don't do that. I'll be fine. Look, I gotta go, Mama. I got an 11 o'clock show. Tell Dixie I'll call her after the show, right? All right, I will. You call your Mama, too. Oh, it'll be awful late, Mama. I'll wait up. You know I will. I know, I know. Bye, baby. Oh, you being a real good boy. <laughs> Damn right I am. Well, this little girl thought so. <laughs> hey, you guys see that fat man with the hat standing in the back again? Oh, yeah, I've seen him. He's at Shreveport, too, in Houston. That's Colonel Tom Parker. He used to manage Eddie Arnold. I think he's with uh, Hank Snow now. No kidding. Eddie Arnold, huh? That's Colonel Parker. I heard of him. He's about as much Colonel as I am General Eisenhower. <laughs> I heard he was from the Carney. Oh, what's he doing at our shows? You in the Carney, Elvis? Always looking for a freak show. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Tom? Call me Colonel. I discovered the boy. He's raw talent. He didn't even know what he had when he first came into Sun Records. Look how far he's gone. How much further can you take him? Can you compete with RCA, with whom I've had relations over the years? Do you have the wherewithal to take him national? I have contacts in New York, Los Angeles, music, film, television, <laughs> you name it. I know you like the boy. So I know you won't stand in the way of his dreams. You need the money, Sam. I check. I'll think about it, Tom. I already got Eddie Arnold in some movies. Yeah, you seen any of them movies? No. No, buddy, they suck so bad, they leave hickeys on the bottom of your feet when you walk out of the theater. <laughs> Have a seat anywhere, boys. Colonel Parker, I'm Scotty Moore. I've been managing Elvis. And Elvis and I need some privacy. Right. Yes, sir. Young Mr. Presley. What do you want? Hmm? Off all this, what do you want? Well, I want to buy my mom and daddy a house and a car. No, your secret dream. Everybody's got a secret dream. Deep in your heart of hearts, what do you want more than anything? Well, I've always wanted to be an actor. Like James Dean? Or Marlon Brando, maybe. You know, don't you, that uh, I got Eddie Arnold into some movies. I heard that. You want to be in the movies? I'll get you in the movies. But are you ready for the big time, son? You want it enough? Oh, I want it, sir. Call me Colonel. I think you do. I'll get you movies. Are you ready for a big record deal? Hmm? Sam, now he, he's got good intentions, but he's local. He thinks local. Me? I think nationwide. <laughs> I think worldwide. <laughs> I dream in Technicolor. <laughs> I'm not gonna shine your brass, son. I don't get your music. I'm more of a Lawrence Welk kind of fellow. <laughs> you don't like it? No, it's not liking it or not. 
I just don't get what all the fuss is about. <laughs> but there is a fuss, and I can surely understand that. And I can sell it. I can sell anything. I can sell a wino to sweat off a grape. <laughs> and I know I can sell the hell out of you. How much you making now, son? I do pretty good. Mm. Sometimes I make a hundred dollars a night. Well, son, you got a million dollars worth of talent. A million dollars? Sounds like a lot of banana oil to me. Elvis is already working too hard. Look how skitty he is. Oh, Mama, I've been eating everything you've been putting in front of me. And it ain't work. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> the time to sell the apples is when they're on the tree, not after they fall into the ground. Now, this boy, he, he's ripe now. So he has to work hard for a couple of years. He, he's young, he can handle it. <laughs> then after a couple of years raking in the cash, he take it easy, do what he wants. You can retire on a million dollars. All this TV and movie bourgeois. That's all in New York City and California. Who's gonna look after my boy there? Mm -hmm. I don't trust them kind of folk. Exactly. Now, Sam Phillips, he's a nice enough fellow, but those big city boys, they will eat him for lunch. Me? I'm one of you. And where is it you're from exactly? Oh, I've wandered the land, much like a gypsy. Well, thank you for stopping by, Mr. Parker. We'll let you know. If you would call me Colonel, ma'am, I will take my leave now. But let me just say that uh, whatever your decision, it has been a pluperfect pleasure to be the recipient of your most gracious hospitality. See you, son. Come on, Mama. Please. I want this so bad. And the Colonel can make it happen for me. Please, Mama? Daddy? I don't know a thing about this so-called Colonel Elvis. I think he'd sell the paint off his own mama's house. And he talks funny. Come here, I want to show you something. Come on. Come on. Now, remember when you scrubbed floors at the hospital? And you came home, and every night you kept talking about something you'd seen in the parking lot? Oh! Oh, my Lord. Oh, my baby! Hey, Elvis, you're spending money as fast as you can make it. Oh, well, Daddy, I guess I'll just have to keep on making it. And that's why I want the Colonel. You heard him. He said I'd make millions. Oh, and now he's gonna help organize my next tour? Oh, let's just give him a chance, Daddy, okay? Oh, let's try him for just one tour. Well, what about Sam, Elvis? I, I like Sam. I can talk to him. I like Sam, too, Daddy. I owe everything to Sam. He just doesn't have the connections. He can't take me as far as the Colonel can. Maybe we're just afraid of how far that might be, baby. That's not what I mean. I mean, you're not going out with other guys, are you? I don't want you going out with other guys. Let's not fight. Of course I don't. Oh, baby. Oh. Mm. It is Presley. Hey, Elvis. Hey, guys. Hey, Dixie. Hey, Red. Hey, George. Man, that's a slick set of wheels you got, my boy. You like? <laughs> Pepto Bismobile? <laughs> boy, I hear you've been tearing it up all over the place. You're famous now. Oh, well, I don't know about that. 
Well, what are you boys up to? Just riding around, you know, hanging out. I'll come hang out here. Hey, Red, you should come on the road with us. My cousin Jean's gone. I need someone to watch my back. There's always some gorilla mad at me because this girl likes my singing. That's why they get mad. <laughs> Sorry, Dixie. I was just joking. You know what? Now, that sounds like fun, man. I think I'd like that. Well, all right. Oh, you'll meet Haynes Snow, the Leuven brothers, the Carter sisters. George, you come too. Can. I, I got a good job at WMC. All right. Well, if it ever changes. I don't know. What would I do? Oh, man, what couldn't you do? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. Now, everybody get off my new car. Boys and girls, let's give a big Odessa welcome to Elvis Presley. RCA, meet William Morris. Boys, meet our future. Got something you want me to sign, honey? I need more than an autograph. Well, come here, baby. Is that as good as hers? <laughs> oh, come on, baby. I was just having some fun, giving the girl a thrill. Uh-huh. I haven't been getting much of that lately. Just phone calls from you telling me I better not be messing around. Don't, baby. I need to spend some time with you. I just can't right now, Dixie. Oh, we gotta drive south. These cats from the hayride have us booked back to back. Cats? I've lost you. You haven't lost me. It's just, I could be back driving a truck by next year. I have to grab what I can. 
for us. Not for us, Elvis. You got what you always wanted. Good luck with it. And Dixie. I love you. It's not gonna be like this forever. Then call me when it's over. It's just too hard this way. Dixie. Sorry, man. <laughs> Everything ends. Well, I guess that's true. You know I have a twin brother? No. Jesse Garren. He died when I was born. I still talk to him sometimes. And that's why I think I got such good rhythm. You know, I... Uh, I had a backbeat there in the womb. <laughs> Two hearts beating. Yeah. Me and Jesse. And that's why Mama frets so. Well, she's just afraid she's gonna lose me too. That's not gonna happen. I promise you, Mom, we take care of you. <laughs> and you have, man. And I appreciate that. I know you do. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go. All right. My baby's exhausted. He's been in riots. He even lost his girlfriend. That's your idea of good management? Well, as to the girlfriend, <laughs> I think you'd prefer I didn't undertake to manage that. As to the other, I understand your concern, Mrs. Presley. If I had the boy's contract, I could work it so that we wouldn't have to book him into these small places where they can get at him. He wouldn't be driving so much. This boy, he's like a son to me too. And I guarantee you, I promise you that as long as I live, I never want to see anything like a riot happen again. I set the price at nearly twice what anyone's ever paid for a singer before, figuring he'd just go away. <laughs> well, I guess they think you're worth it. And you are, son. <laughs> you know, I opened this studio to give color to the place to record, because I truly believe their music comes from the very soul. And I believe if enough people listen to them, it can't help but connect us all. And <laughs> I always knew if I found a white man who could sing it, I'd make a million dollars. Yeah, somebody else be getting that, not me. No, first thing I'm gonna try and clean you up, son. Then they're gonna try and slick you up. You stay true to yourself. You know what you're doing now. You stay true to yourself, you'll be okay. We're going to do great things, you and I. <laughs> Guess what's next? We're booked on TV. TV? The Dorsey Brothers stage show. I've got big plans for you, son. And they all hinge on the whole country seeing you, body and flesh, on the TV. And then after that, we're going to get you a Hollywood screen test. <laughs> really? You're going to learn that when the Colonel says he's going to do something, it will come into being. Oh, Colonel, I don't know how to thank you. There's only one way, loyalty. I'm investing a lot of time and effort in you, Elvis. I hope you don't intend to leave me in the lurch when you get rich and famous like old Eddie Arnold did. Colonel, us Presleys, 
are as loyal as a milk-fed dog. You do what you say you're gonna do, I'll never leave you. Never? You have my word. Good enough. Elvis, welcome to RCA. Hey, hey, Colonel, hey, so Elvis, I would like you to meet Barry Schultz, head of RCA Records, and this is Ann Fulcino, head of publicity. Ma'am, sir. Ow! <laughs> Very funny. That may be big in Memphis, boys, but uh, it'll never work in New York. It's never gonna work in New York. <laughs> so, Elvis, this is Chet Atkins who'll be producing. Oh, I'm a great admirer of yours, Mr. Atkins. It's well, honor. Well, thank you, son. Thank All right. you. All right. This is Scotty. All right, DJ. <clears throat> Belly. So, uh, the clock's ticking? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, these guys can't take a joke. <laughs> so, Elvis, I sent you some demos to check out. Which of those would you like to record? I actually want to do something else by May Axton and Tommy Durden. Oh, it's called Heartbreak Hotel. Gee, Elvis, that's an awfully gloomy song. We were thinking something more along the lines of what you've done in the past. Oh, yeah, but this here is a great song, Mr. Scholes. Great song. All right. Mr. Atkins, is there anything special you want us to do? I mean, sometimes Sam would, no, would really you want us to. You just keep doing what you've been doing. Well, there ain't no Sun Records, so, uh, this must be the big time. What was it they told you? Whoever buys Presley is gonna get stuck. Is my wake straight? Oh, imagine us on the Dorsey Brothers stage show. Imagine us being on TV the same time as Perry Como. Man, Perry Como's a square, man. <laughs> what you talking about? I like Perry Como, son of a bitch. You're on, Mr. Presley. Okay, baby. Well, this is it, man. This is TV. So lonely, I'll be this so lonely, I could die. Man, the bellhop's tears keep flowing, and the death clerk's dressed in black. Well, they've been so long on the street, and they'll never, they'll never look back and think it's so lonely, baby. Well, they're so lonely, well, they're so lonely, well, they're so lonely. Well, they're so lonely. they could die. Entertaining some fans. Elvis! Get up and take a pee, the world's on fire. You know, I really appreciate you boys keeping Elvis out of trouble. Well, he don't like to be alone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Look, what you have here is what they call a gravy train. Now, I think you'd want to do everything you can to keep it on the tracks. Boys, give me and the colonel some privacy. You look like hell. Well, I'm exhausted, Colonel. I've been touring everywhere from Tampa to Tulsa. Oh, everyone's just plain tired. And you oversell the shows, and then we get double booked. And why are we playing all these small theaters anyhow? It always seems to be full, and we're turning folks away, and half the time there's a bigger venue down the road. That's what we're after, son, that line around the block. That's what they'll write about. You promised Mama there'd be less traveling and bigger venues. Elvis, 
I'll take care of the business. You take care of the songs. You think I don't know what I'm doing, huh? No, sir. Did I not say that you'd make a million dollars? Mm-hmm. Well, you're on your way. Heartbreak Hotel just sold a million copies. You got your first gold record. <laughs> I gotta come home. No, 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 hold on. Did I not tell you that TV was the place to start? Mm, yes, sir. And because he was knocked up by your performance, which he saw on stage show, a movie producer, Mr. Hal Wallace, produced Casablanca, wants to fly you out to Hollywood for a screen test. Woo! <laughs> And while we're out there, we're doing Milton Burrow. All right. <laughs> what happened? Well, I'll be back in a minute, baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> Son, we got an investment here, and we got to protect it. Now, I'm not one to interfere with your personal life, but what you do on the other side of that door can mean big time trouble. No. Oh. More than one showboat's been sunk by a pretty face with a ready cooch. Oh, come on, Colonel. I was just having some fun. Oh, well, that kind of fun can lead to jail time and in a career. Your daddy spent some time in jail, didn't he? Yes, sir. Oh, well, that was for a bad check. Well, did he say it was a good day? No, sir. Boy, you ever do anything to make me ashamed of you, and we're through. Stars come and go. But a manager can work forever. Cut. Great. That's a wrap. Great job, Albert. Oh. Right, oh, is he sure, Mr. Wallace, I can do it again? No, no, no. That was fine, kid. Trust me, that was a good screen test. It was great, in fact. Are you sure you haven't had any training? Oh, I've been training for this my whole life. In the seventh row of the Memphian. <laughs> oh, I've seen every film there is. I've seen uh, Rebel Without a Pebble seven times. Oh, Rebel Without a Cause. Oh, it's a joke, sir. <laughs> well, whatever you're doing, it works. You're a natural, kid. Mama, it's with Catherine Hepburn and Burt Lancaster. I'd be perfect for the part of the brother, Mama. I know I'd be perfect for it. And guess what, Mama? I wouldn't have to sing. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'll tell Daddy and Grandma Minnie, will you? Oh, listen, I gotta go. The Colonel's here. All right. I love you, too, Mama. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Okay, bye. We don't want it even if we got it. What? Why not? Burt Lancaster and Catherine Hepburn, they're doing it. Exactly. And nobody's gonna pay any attention to you. We need to hold out for something better, son. Something weird to star of the show. The star? Oh, who's gonna make me the star of their show, Colonel? I let you down yet, Elvis? No, sir. And let me play this Hollywood game for you. Well, the director said I was a real natural. A natural? <laughs> How hard can it be? Shirley Temple did it when she was four years old. I guarantee you that more people will see this one night of the Milton Berle show than will ever see that Burr Lancaster movie. Now, come on. Uncle Milty's waiting. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. music has reached its lowest depths in the grunt and groin antics of Elvis Presley. 
who put on a suggestive and vulgar exhibition that was tinged with the kind of animalism that should be confined to dives and bordellos. What amazes me is that Burl and NBC should have permitted this affront. Daily News. Well, did that guy ever even see the show? Oh man, Deborah Padgett was on that show with that tight little feather thing on her ass, bumping and grinding herself all over the damn place. I'm like little boy Blue out there. Hey, look at this, here's one. The sight of Presley caterwauling his unintelligible lyrics. Gene, cool it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, they're gonna run me out of the business, aren't they, Colonel? Are you kidding? With free publicity like this? <laughs> you just keep doing what you're doing and watch your record sales grow. This is gonna be like cow pies on clover. I told you TV would make us. I don't know, Colonel. What well, scares me? I'm the one in the crosshairs here. Well, they could shut us down. Nobody shuts down a money machine like this. Not in America, they don't. Everybody's gonna want a piece of you. Ed Sullivan says he wouldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole. The good folk of Jacksonville have serious concerns about your performance tonight. Your Honor, I really can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I'm a good Christian. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't take the Lord's name in vain. The music, it just kind of moves me. I know my mama approves of what I'm doing. Well, son, I can't speak for your mother, but I can speak for the mothers of Jacksonville. Now, they don't want any of your lewd movements when you perform here, or there will be warrants for your arrest, young man. Do not wiggle. record-breaking week here on KWK. After this week, there will be no more rock and roll played on the air. Senator, what do you think of the obscenity of this Presley rock and roll? The obscenity and vulgarity of the rock and roll music is obviously a means by which the white man and his children can be driven to the level of the Negroes. It's obviously Negro music. Let's walk up to the preacher. I believe with all my heart that it is a contributing factor to our juvenile delinquency of today. I know how it feels when you sing it. I know what it does to you. And I know that evil feeling you feel when you sing it. And I know that lost position that you get into. And the beat, the beat, the beat. Oh, baby, it's still you are. Yeah. I don't be cool. Mm -hmm. I'll see you girls backstage. Let's try again. We've already done 25 takes, Elvis. I mean, it's, it's four in the morning. I don't care how many times we've done it. We're gonna keep on doing it till I get it the way I hear it in my head. Colonel. Why don't you let me bring in some session boys? Look, we have people that can play anything, any style. The best in the world. The classically trained. Yeah, I was bringing some pros. This is costing RCA a lot of money. Hey, my guys may not be classically trained, but they play with feeling. I don't care if it's no perfect. I don't care if it's flat. I don't care if the timing's off. It's just got to feel right, and it doesn't feel right with Take 25, so we're going to keep on doing it till it does feel right. We straight with that, Mr. Scholes? You're the boss, Elvis. Yes, sir. If I'm the boss, get the world off my back.
way, sir. Sir, could you check my gas tank? I think I might have a leak or something. I've been smelling fumes through the AC. I think it's him. Let's go, let's go. You're Elvis Presley. Uh, I guess I am. Can I have your autograph? Oh, sure. My sister went to Hames with you. She was a year behind. Is she as pretty as you are? Hey, how are you? Good. Well, what a pretty bunch of girls. Get this thing out of my drive. I got other customers. Uh, I don't see any other customers, sir. Don't give me any lip, boy. Just move the land yacht. We don't like your kind around here. Oh, man, lay off of me. Take it easy, take it easy. You take it. Son, I find you at no fault. You have to understand, wherever you go now, you are bound to attract a large following. You need to avoid crowds where businesses will be interrupted. I understand, sir. But it's not so easy for me. It's getting so I can't even leave my own house. You boys heard from Red? No. Getting shot at, probably. I ain't heard nothing. Sure he's doing all right, Red's a tough kick. <laughs> Probably Real shot his own foot off. Now, <laughs> that <laughs> now. Nah, nah. Oh, Mama, you're going straight to hell. Yeah, Elvis, Gene and I are going to have a beer. There's no harm in having one or two. Besides, I need something to steady my nerves. Oh, Mama, it was nothing. Oh, even the judge said I was innocent. Innocent people get hurt all the time, Elvis. It's a miracle you didn't. What if some nut comes after you with a gun? <laughs> oh, Jane, take the bullet, won't oh, you, cuz? Yeah. Heck no. I just couldn't go on living if something happened to you. Now, Mama, everything's gonna be fine. Why you keep going out there, son? Enough is enough. Why is it so important? Fellas? Baby, why don't you just quit it all right now? We got a wonderful house. We got cars. You can make yourself a good living, get yourself a furniture store. <laughs> you can marry a nice girl and have a baby nearby, and I can come and visit. I can help you raise us. You can make me the happiest woman in the world. Look at me, Satin. Look at me. When I'm on stage, I'm a different person. I am. It's hard to explain. It's like I've got goosebumps all over my body, only it's not goosebumps. It's not a chill either. It's like a, a surge of electricity, only stronger than that. Sometimes it's so strong, I feel my heart's going to explode. No, Mama. No. It's a good thing. It's a real good thing. And I don't know what I'd do if I had to stop. And I'm gonna be a movie star, Mama. I'm gonna be a real serious movie star. I can't stop now, Satin. I can't. But you can't go out no more, neither. Mm -mm. Not like normal folk. So? I got Gene, Red, Junior. I got plenty of guys to hang with. Red done join the Marines, Elvis. Okay, uh, you remember that guy, Lamar Fike? That big, fat, funny man? <laughs> and George Klein from Hume's High? You love him. I do. He's gonna join me. And his friend, Hog Ears. <laughs> oh, we wouldn't be here without him, Mama. Come on. Let's go sign some autographs and give him a thrill. Come on, bring some cookies. Maybe while I'm doing the movie, you can find us a place that's a little bit more private. Oh, watch oh, it. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sir Elvis Presley. Oh, Gillia's charge, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry for bumping into y'all. Well, you know. look a lot like you do on TV. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thank you. Listen, uh, my friends and I, we're real sorry for bumping into you and roughing you up and all. Uh, and we'll have to make it up to you, ladies. Uh, would y'all like to join us later? <laughs> y'all? <laughs> Where y'all going? Oh, you know, just go. Oh, the idea is to have a ball. You know, if you want to be cool, you got to wear. You got to put something down. You got to make some job. Well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know a five and dime Brando when I see one. <laughs> Didn't I just read that you're on your way to making a million dollars this year? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All that money. You ought to spend it on some acting lessons. And paying someone to wash the back of your neck. So, did you get the numbers? Yeah. Those girls are really beautiful, Cass. I really like the one with the purple dress. I think she liked me. What do you think? Yeah. I think she really liked you too, Jane. Think so? Well, she's got a guy. Actually, they both do. Uh, damn. Now, oh, come on. Elvis, a movie star. Who'd have thunk it? Elvis, Hal Wallace. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, sir. So you brought some friends along? Yeah, we're his posse. <laughs> well, okay, boys. Ready for your first movie, Elvis? I've been ready my whole life. Yeah, he's memorized the whole script. His part and everybody else's, right? <laughs> That's true. Well, you know, we're only counting on you for your own lines and lyrics, of course. Tell that New York Irishman it's 50,000 cash. Take it or leave it. Yes, cash. I don't want to end up with warm spit in my ear. <laughs> it seems Mr. Ed Sullivan has lost his 10-foot pole. You're on the show. What's the matter, Elvis? Why aren't you out there emoting? Oh, they just told me I've got to sing in this movie. Love Me Tender? Hell, they're even changing the title to that. What did you know about this? We signed a contract, son. We, we do what they tell us to do. But the acting's important to me, Colonel. I want to be taken seriously, and nobody takes a musical actor seriously. But they put the world's biggest singing star in a movie and he don't sing? You know, what kind of sense does that make? It's a damn Western. They're going to try to turn me into Gene Autry. <laughs> Elvis, let me, let me work this movie thing, huh? So you sing, sell some records, make some money, That's what you want, right? The money? Movies? Ed Sullivan? And now look at this, huh? 72 different items. The same fella that does them for Roy Rogers, Lone Ranger, Ding Dong School, he's doing them for us. You'll be a millionaire by Christmas, living like a king. It was named after the seller's great aunt Grace. You can call it anything you want. Graceland. I like it, mama. We'll put chicken coops and hog pens in the back. Mama will put in her garden. We'll do her bedroom up in pink wallpaper. They said they could have it all ready by September. Don't it look just like Tara and Gone with the Wind, baby? Mama, you remember I told you I'd buy you a house? Well, now you got a palace. <sighs> Come on. The man is so beautiful, Mama. Isn't it? Mama! 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 Give it here, Elvis. I'm just using it to wash down them diet pills the doctor gave me. They make me feel all jittery. Mama, what's wrong? I don't know. I miss my neighbors. 
folks just stop and buy the bar of sugar, gossiping. Those bastards at Audubon? My mama, they wanted to run you off for hanging out of the laundry. No, oh, baby, the folks at Lauderdale Court. The projects. I'm saying them, we can't go back there. It'd be a circus. But it was nice before. Before what, mama? Before we had money? Squabbling over a pork chop? But I always knew you'd be home for dinner. And Dixie was there, and we'd all go to church together. And I didn't have to worry whether or not you were safe. Or if I looked good enough for all them reporters. Oh, mama, you look just fine. I just want you to be proud of me, Elvis. Proud of you? Satin and you are so beautiful. Now, come on now, look at all this. Isn't this what we always dreamed of? Oh, Mama, this should be the happiest time of our lives. Sometimes I think our kind weren't meant for happiness. Life's pleasures were meant for other folk. Our kind was born for misery and pain. That's God's plan. Then I want to make you happy. Now, what'll it take, Mama? I'm happy when you're happy, son. Are you really happy, Elvis? Mama, I'm on top of the world. Rock and roll smells phony. It's sung, played, and written for the most part by cretinous goons and by means of its almost imbecilic reiteration with sly, lewd, dirty lyrics. It's the martial music of every sideburn delinquent on the face of the earth. It is the most brutal, ugly, desperate, vicious form Turn of that expression. Sinatra, man, can you theater. believe it? And why didn't they come to me? And where's their friggin' loyalty? If they'd have come to me, I'd have worked it out for them. Scotty and Bill quit. That's a tough one, Elvis. Give them a call. Maybe you can still work it out. Never. Oh, they're probably working for Ricky Nelson by now. Money. It's always money. Oh, why would they do this to me, Mama? I've been with them since the beginning. I can't do it without them. Sure you can, baby. You talk to the colonel. He's supposed to be handling these things. I don't talk business with him. You're Elvis Presley, honey. Without you, none of these people are nothing. You go ahead and you talk to him about any damn thing you want. Thanks, Mama. It's not that bad, Elvis. How bad is not that bad, Jane? It was terrible. Come on. Okay, the guy's a great guitar player. I'll give him that, but he just didn't nail it like Scotty does. It just it didn't feel right. Nothing does. Where's Marion? Uh, she left me, Elvis. We had a fight a while back, and she took off and joined the Air Force. I'm sorry, man. It's got to hurt. No, we're both getting used to that kind of thing, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, Sam? Is this how it ends? No, son. <laughs> no. You just talk to them. They'll do anything for you. You just ask. Seems the higher I climb, the lonelier it gets. 
You remember the last time I was in here? You said you were in it for the music, not the money. There's a spirituality deep inside the music and inside you. Are you being true to yourself, son? Are you doing what you love? You gotta be strong, Elvis, vigilant. You can't compromise what your heart knows. No, sir. Oh, I just wish you'd come to me. Well, we knew all business was with the Colonel. We talked to him. He told us to stick around the sun, don't shine. Like $200 a week on the road and 100 bucks a week at home and enough to get by on. Not when we're responsible for our own expenses. No outside work, no cutting our own instrumental records. We can't tour on our own. I mean, he had us locked in, Elvis. And I I'm in debt up the wazoo. Oh, I don't know about all that stuff. Well, maybe it's something you could look into. You gotta start being the boss of you, Elvis. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the Colonel's taken me this far, and I, I own everything. No, sir. You took me this far. All I know is I want you guys back. You're kind of crossing the line, aren't you, son? It has a lot to do with the music, sir. Look, and those guys, they're second-rate musicians who hold up to recording sessions. I've seen the bills. That goes against our take. Well, the hell with them. <laughs> There's a million guitar players out there, Elvis. RCA doesn't want them back, and I don't want them back. They've been with me from the beginning. I owe them. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Gene. Is that all you got, baby? Yeah. Come on, boom. Oh, oh I'm gonna. I'm gonna beat you like a daddy did, baby. Oh, come on. Oh, I done messed his hair now. Hey, Lamar, hold on. Come on. Hey, Colonel. I had Nudie Cohen make this up for you. It's like the Liberace outfit. Oh, that's some suit, Colonel. 100% gold lamb, eh, boy? Costs $2,500. Treat her gently, my friend. No gymnastics tonight. Happy? Yeah. I'm happy. Good. Not today. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show. But if you get ready now, go, can't go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but take me over my blue suede shoes. You can knock me down, step in my face, slander my name all over the place. We'll do anything that you want to do, but I'm a uh, honey, lay on my shoes and don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but take me over my blue suede shoes. Let's go, cat! Steal my car, drink my liquor from an old fruit jar. We'll do anything that you want to do. But I'm a honey, lay off my shoes and don't do. Step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but take me over my blue suede shoes. Well, it's blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Yeah! Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, baby. Blue, 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 blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything. Oh man, we killed him, Scotty. We killed him. Yes, Man, I thought the colonel was going to hemorrhage when you went to your knees. You must have left 50 bucks in gold on that stage. Boys, I'm so glad to have you back. I missed you guys. All right. I guess we're all stubborn people, Elvis. You can be stubborn longer. You got more money. <laughs> yeah, well, we do now. 50 bucks a week. Yeah, we're strutting in high cotton just like you now, Elvis. Look, that there's all just water under the bridge. We're all together again, right? All right. Four mosquitoes. Yes, sir. Hey, colonel, do you want a drink? 
Hey, Lamar, fix the Colonel a drink. Relax, Colonel. Scotty and me, we picked up all them gold flakes. Hey, that could be our bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. What? Memphis Draft Board has classified you 1A. They're looking to draft you. What does Uncle Sam want with Elvis? Why do they want to kill the goose that lays a gold maiden? Hell, he pays a fortune in taxes every year. Why are they drafting people anyways? Ain't no war going on. <sighs> no, what if there is a war? We gotta get us a good lawyer or something. Elvis, you met the governor. He can pull some strings. Now's the time for you to earn your money, Colonel. Hold on a minute. Now, this may not be such a bad thing. What? Are you cracked, Colonel? It's gotten really ugly out there. We're up to our hip boots and bad press. We even got the Catholic Church picking on Elvis now. I thought you said it was good for business. Yes, but that was when we thought this whole thing was just going to be a flash in the pan. Now we're learning that this music and you have some legs. Maybe we can use this cooling off period to our advantage. Clean up the image. Broaden the appeal. Broader appeal means bigger audiences. That means more money for everybody. I'll be gone two years. I wouldn't be cool. I'd be cold dead. Not necessarily. No, see, I've been thinking. Now, we could record a bunch of stuff, parcel it out bit by bit. That'd keep the record sales going. Do another movie. Hmm? That could tie this over for a year. Mama, what do you think? It could get you away from all them crazies. Maybe all that would die down. America's most famous citizen trades his blue suede shoes for marching boots as Elvis the Pelvis becomes Private Presley. I, Elvis Presley, resolve to swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Today, gone tomorrow. <laughs>